over here <clears throat> and serve in the industries. Now, uh, Wolfville uh, Town. Wolfville is a town because we are located at uh, Wolfville Town especially. So uh, this is a symbol which you will find. In Canada, you will find a number of expressways. So when you go from airport to Wolfville, uh, Wolfville Town, uh, at the both side of expressways, you will find a lot of greeneries, farms, and a lot of orchards and gardens with where you will find atmosphere very clean and green. As you will enter in the campus, you will find it's a place of opportunities. Wolfville City with a population of 4,500 people, all the amenity, amenities are available, like restaurant, shopping mall, cafes, parks, trails, everything is available. You can enjoy the events, you can enjoy the shopping most like <clears throat> the students are sitting over there, they are enjoying coffees. Even part-time jobs are available, the students can enjoy. So uh, everything uh, is available, whatever is required by any international student in Wolfville. This is a lifestyle which you can enjoy. Uh, you will find lots of, um, you know, not enough community peoples, but here the peoples are very cooperative and uh, you will enjoy living with them. They are very supportive also. So this is a lifestyle which you will be getting at uh, Wolfville and Acadia. Acadia University, uh, we have uh, shown in this slide, we have shown the street, uh, you know, map of Acadia where we have uh, lots of buildings and uh, Everything is it's a main. This is a main street, which uh, this is a main, uh, red street. This is the main street which goes to uh, Wolfville downtown area, and here we have lots of buildings spread in this 250 acre campus. Our strength of 3,500 student makes us popular because it's a our senior strength in any Nova Scotia institution. That's why we say that uh, we are number one in Nova Scotia for undergraduate programs. We are only at a distance of 500 meters from Bay of Fundy, the ocean which I uh, told you about. Uh, we have Indian students. Uh, we have 60 plus Indian students who are currently studying in various department. Our class size is uh, very, I will focus, I will say more point on this. Uh, when you choose to, uh, when, you, when you choose any institution for study, you will say, uh, you, you will uh, notice <coughs> The classrooms, what is the classroom size in Toronto, in Vancouver, in many other popular institutions uh, located in these places, they, they are the class sizes are very high. They have 60 to 100 students. So quality of education is, you know, deteriorated. Uh, quality is not maintained. But at Acadia, our class size is very limited. We have 28 average class size. And I told our student professor ratio, uh, ensure good quality of education. Now, it must be noticed what is the ranking and reputation of any institution in Canada. Uh, we are very old, we have ancient history. So because of, of this, uh, you know, old history and our experience, we uh, and our number of students, uh, number of uh, students in our UG programs, we exist in number one in undergraduate programs for uh, Nova Scotia. And uh, this is as per Maclean Guide 2001. So Ma what is Maclean Guide? Maclean, uh, guide uh, Maclean Guide is that which uh, conduct a survey on the basis of uh, certain facts. On the basis of that, this uh, Maclean Guide gives particular ranking to an institution. So we are not saying this that we are at number one in Nova Scotia. This is as per Maclean Guide. Apart from this, uh, in Canada, our ranking for uh, under Graduate program is we exist in top five and we are the seventh oldest university in Canada overall. Here at Acadia, we ensure a good quality of education from uh, you know reputed university and top ranking university at a affordable cost. I will explain in upcoming threads how this is possible. Uh, here you can see a drone pick. <coughs> at the back side, uh, you can see the blue ocean, it's a Bay of Fundy where you will find uh, uh, lots of high tides. It's a big campus, 250 acre campus, garden and green, green trees. you can see, a lot of parking spaces available. So almost this is a very uh, beautiful campus where you will enjoy the surroundings. Programs, now I will take uh, attention to the programs. At Acadia, we are offering, Acadia is popular for, uh, you know, 
offering uh, programs in liberal uh, education liberal art education so what is the meaning of this liberal art education this is so because uh, let's say any student uh, who goes to business who pursue a business degree at acadia university but later on he become more interested into you know history field so by choosing majors option he can have degree in business as well as he can be specialized in history options also so uh, we encourage a uh, student to choose majors because uh, this is a one kind of flexibility that we are offering to our students at acadia our programs are 80% programs are co-op we have honors programs and we have the you know uh, co internship based programs so <clears throat> we have 200 plus degree options in every department you will find 6 to 12 or maybe more degree programs that's why we say that we are offering uh, flexible degree options so all these programs we have put into various department all all have departments have been categorized into three main faculties i'm going to explain uh, arts faculty first which has certain departments in it canadian studies it's only for uh, domestic students who are from Canada and USA. Then we have very important department, history and classic. Students who want to be the part of literature, who want to know more about history, who want to learn thousand year back history of any country, history of Pyramid, history of Egypt, they can pursue a four year undergraduate degree, which is co-op degree. You, they can pursue over here. We have economics. Economics uh, is a <clears throat> study of you know using least resources, gaining maximum advantage every country focusing on in how to increase economics so here you will be uh, focusing uh, here the degree that we are offering is bachelor of arts in economics and bachelor of science in economics we have seen economics is coming with uh, three specialization like business computers and mathematics apart from this uh, english french german and spanish uh, so students who want to pursue language degrees, they can uh, apply at these departments. But for kindly note, uh, for September 2020 intake, we do not have any uh, language degree open for September 2020 intake. Environmental and Sustainability Studies. <clears throat> this department established in 1995. Here, the study of the areas are you know uh, related to environment, global warming and uh, you know uh, global warming and rising sea levels and the plotting based study of uh, environment related issues so that is covered here uh, here the study is more into practical rather than being uh, theoretical based importantly sociology is a very uh, important um, field at acadia in sociology we have uh, we are we have a degree of um, ba Bachelor of Arts in Sociology with co-op option available. So career can be like an international, uh, international relation professional or student can be a teacher. Uh, so these are the profession, uh, best possible career can be after completing sociology degree. Psychology. Psychology is a study of neurosciences. So uh, here we, uh, we encourage students to, we, we follow the curriculum where lots of you know statistical or you know mathematical based techniques are used to conduct study on human mind on neurosciences this program is co-op program and four year undergraduate degree is awarded at Acadia. Uh, we have theater students who are more into music and theater they can apply here we are offering the theater degree program uh, this is all about arts uh, Faculty, if you have any question, please uh, put it down. I will address in the end of the session. Then uh, we have uh, next department is uh, you know pure and applied sciences. So biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. All four departments, especially um, you know they have very good setup of laboratories. Like you can see here. Uh, we have good setup of uh, laboratories. We have separate offices for the student and professors. There is an environment like a student can interact with the professor very easily. There is a very close and friendly atmosphere. 
we have a program like uh, we have Jordi School of Computer Sciences, which is responsible to conduct two degrees, Bachelor of Arts in Computer Sciences and Bachelor in Computer Sciences, BACS and BCS. So especially in BCS, Bachelor of Computer Sciences, we have six special edition, data, science, uh, data, analytics, data analytics, mobile, com uh, mobile computing application, uh, software development, mobile application development, game development, and uh, you know, cryptography uh, techniques, cyber security, security. So these are the possible options. This is not only enough, we have more specialization. So all students who want to pursue, uh, who want to know more about computers, uh, how to know, how to implement these applications in daily life and in industry, they are encouraged to apply for four-year four undergraduate degree program at Jordi School of Computer Sciences in Acadia University. <clears throat> Engineering, very uh, importantly, engineering, we are offering four year undergraduate degrees offered with seven branches civil, electrical, mechanical, electrical, uh, sorry, uh, you know, mechanical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mining engineering, bioinformatic engineering, environmental science, and geoscience engineering. So, engineering is a very popular at Acadia. And the uh, best part is after completing two years at uh, Acadia University, a student, can, a student has option to get transferred at the Haji for engineering program only. And uh, because of COVID-19, uh, we are very sure that uh, all students who are applying for engineering, they will take classes at Acadia University campus in Volpe. Um, environmental and geosciences. So uh, this is one kind of uh, field in, which, uh, in environmental sciences. It's named by EST in geosciences. There is a degree, bachelor degree with EST in geosciences. So professionals who complete this degree are known as geologists. So geology, uh, geologists are the professionals who, who conduct a research, who conduct a study, feasibility study on rock sciences. So if you want to know more about rocks, you can uh, apply in this department to pursue a degree. Uh, we have, uh, you know, geologists covered here, environmental science I have uh, explained. Psychology again, I have explained maths is a requirement for this program. Next, we are I'm going to take the professional studies faculty. It's a third faculty where we have the you know BBA degree. BBA degree is offered at Acadia with six special edition, financial accounting, uh, business general, employment relation, international relation. So wide variety of special edition are available at BBA with co-op option also. Apart from this, we have community development. Community development is a very popular field, again, a very popular field, especially in Canada, because there are lots of uh, community people are there. So what can be their rights, what, how to give them rights, how to put these rights, rights in front of government. So I would think uh, every fact related to these concepts are covered in community development. Community development is a department uh, which is offering uh, degree with these special additions. Recreation management, first of uh, recreation management, because Canada is a tourist country, so recreation management professionals are always needed. Social activism, social service worker, then community wellness, it's, uh, you know, after having this degree, you can be the part of any, uh, you know, you can be a legal professional also. Outdoor adventure and education. So uh, this is again a very popular specialization in community development. Here, these uh, community development is a very popular field. You can opt this degree. And we have uh, education. So in education, you know, to be uh, to pursue an education degree in uh, at Acadia University, you must be uh, having a bachelor degree in Indian education system. Similarly, uh, not bachelor degree, you must be having uh, you know one year diploma of uh, education or BA degree. So dual bachelor degree is required. Four year education, four year education in Indian education system is required to apply at Acadia University educational degree. Kinesiology, we are oversubscribed for this program, so we are not accepting application for this. Uh, music, we have, we have very good setup for this. Uh, students who want to be the part of music discipline, they can apply. Next, we are going to take the tuition, uh, sorry, um, some health sciences options. Uh, because can, uh, in Canada, the thing is uh, dentistry, medicine, neuropathic medicine, occupational therapy, optometry, optometry, physiotherapy, 
all these uh, uh, options can be taken by any student if after completing after having a undergraduate degree so before <clears throat> uh before having any undergraduate degree no any no any student can apply in these uh, programs so uh, these programs can be uh, taken as a reference a student can make their career they can pursue a degree in these departments after having any undergraduate degree in kannada so it's for reference only next uh guidelines for admission so uh, please uh, pay attention on this so uh, because of covid 19 uh, uh, pandemic we have shown very much flexibility to accept applications because a lot of students they have not you know appeared for the examination or their results are awaited and uh, because of lockdown they are us could they are not having arts school with them or any other school so i will cover <coughs> all that uh, possibility in this uh, point so i'm going to take the 12 students first all those students who <clears throat> either have uh, their 12th result with them or they are about to appear because uh, i just knew that uh, gs gujarat state education board results are out but uh, still cbse or issc boards results are not out so in that case the student who have their uh, 12th result with them they can apply at acadia university all those all those students who have not their uh, score card with them they can apply conditionally on the basis of credited score now uh this is about uh, 12 students we uh, i will focus on diploma holders uh, <clears throat> like some students some of you are uh, diploma holders after 10 plus 2 two year diploma you have done or three year diploma you have done <clears throat> or you have done uh, diploma after 10 plus 2 so you are also in case to apply at acadia we are accepting uh, uh, you know we are accepting students in the age of uh, you know early 20s like students in the age of 18 to 21 we will accept the application with justifiable gap now the percentage requirement students from cbsc background they need to produce 60% marks uh, icsc or cbsc background <clears throat> they need to show that 60% marks they have they have secured in case of state education board it can be any state education board you need to show a 70% marks if uh, your results are awaited you can apply conditionally after getting the conditional of a letter within 10 to 15 days on payment of 150 canadian dollar you can secure your seat rest when your result will be declared you can put all the you can upload all the documents uh, if uh, you know the minimum required documents you can upload and you can go ahead with the visa filing uh gap i told 3 to uh, you know 3 year gap is accepted uh backlogs uh, i will say that we are not more into backlogs but you know backlog should not be more than you know 4 to 6 in case of diploma then uh, i will i will take another part maths maths is a very important part like a student some students don't have mathematics at, at their 12th standard in that case uh, we encourage them to apply for business and computer related program this, this is the program which is a combination of business and computers like in this program the student will uh, you know study into business in the business uh, or points also and the computer technical issues also in this program maths is not required we have another option like a uh, student who uh, is applying for science related program but uh, you know because of less marks in math uh, mathematics they can apply mathematics at acadia university also it's a 3 to 4 week program and uh, later on he will be admitted in the degree program undergraduate degree program ielts requirement we uh, expect 6.5 more than less than 6.0 in terms of uh, ielts um, have uh, we have seen uh, like uh, due to this lockdown the court, uh, arts coaching was off so in that case we are also considering duolingo score so duolingo on the basis of duolingo score you can apply conditionally but again you need to produce arts with the diff, with the re minimum required arts score that is 6.5 no band no band less than 6.0 at the time of visa filing you have to produce the arts score for visa filing but for conditional offer letter on the basis of duolingo you can apply then we have uh, you know 
mathematics uh, i think uh, toefl we are accepting and P pt we are accepting and toefl we are accepting so pt score is uh, required uh, you know 60 and uh, for toefl we require 90 so these are the certain english grammar scores now about tuition fee so we have the tuition fee uh, base tuition fee 17884 canadian dollar and apart from this we have uh, some other fees like uh, dental health fee acadia union fee acadia student union fee so these fees uh, can be added but it's only on base tuition fee 17884 later on when all these fees are applicable the total goes to 19935 or maybe it can be you know slightly less or slightly increased as uh, we are offering acadia residence to international students uh, single room charges are 7100 canadian dollar for eight months double room charges are 6046 canadian dollar again for eight months and meal plan is can be obtained at the cost of 4593 canadian dollar so this was about tuition fee that's why i told uh, you know in the ranking and reputation uh, slide that uh, we are getting a high quality of education from a top ranking university at a very affordable cost <clears throat> if you have a scholarship and sorry if you have sorry if you have 80 percent marks 80 percent marks you can apply for a scholarship you, are, you can you can be considered for a scholarship but that is the right of the acadia university they we will deeply analyze your application and if we think you suitable for scholarship we will definitely award you I tell you a few days back, uh, we sent an application from Varodhra and this student got offer letter with the scholarship of 10,000 Canadian dollar. Uh, we had a deadline for, you know, scholarship that was 1st of March. But still, if any student who has 80% marks, you are in place to apply at Acadia. Hopefully, you will be considered for a scholarship. Now, what will be the scholarship? What is the amount of the scholarship? So it is minimum 2,000 Canadian dollar. It can go up to 65,000 Canadian dollar. Scholarship can be uh, awarded in two ways. One is before flying to Canada, like at the time of application. And second scholarship, when you arrive and you perform over there, when you study over there and you become a meditation student, in that case, again, you will be getting the scholarship. Living cost is very less in Wolfville because uh, you know Nova Scotia is a province where uh, living cost is very less than other popular cities in Canada. Health counseling and accessibility because it's, uh, when students take admission, when you will take admission, you will come to a new environment in a, with the, you will see international students, you will see the international professor. In that case, somewhere you will face some issues you will face some problems related to your living place, related to your classroom, related to your professor. So in that case, uh, we have a special counseling cell and officer are available. These officer uh, will, you know, um, they will uh, counsel you, they will try to understand the problem and they will resolve that. So we have a very good counseling uh, center at Acadia to counsel all international students. Disability and uh, process information. A student who are physically challenged, we always welcome that. And, uh, you know, we always welcome these students. But the thing is, we need proper documentation. Before coming to Acadia, you need to send your clearly scanned document at email address disability.ss at acadia.ca. So that we can, uh, there should not be duplicacy of the document so that we can easily identify that we have to give this support to this student. Uh, we give uh, physiotherapy at ex, uh, exercise uh, gym, gymnasium, gym uh, club, and we also support uh, wheelchairs to these students. So uh, we also support physically challenged students. Next, uh, I'm going to explain about Acadia Gates Cat Employer. It's a very important point about Acadia. Uh, when you come to Acadia, we offer a degree of four year undergraduate degree. Uh, best thing is, uh, you know, mostly uh, in co-op programs, the final year is, uh, you know, co-op based. There can be co-op period of you know, one term or two term. One term is equal to six months. So they can do one or two terms, depends on the program. During this term, you will go in the industry, you will serve over there, and you have the opportunity to earn up to 10,000 Canadian dollar. Now the question is, you will ask the question like, how will go in the industry? 
who will give us the options so the answer to this question is professor with whom you will uh, who will address you who will give you you know all teaching uh, methodologies he will help you because these professors work closely with the alumni sections in alumni section they have regular interaction with the industry professionals and these professionals earlier have been the part of acadia programs so with the help of these uh, uh, with the help of professor you will be getting the uh, sorry in terms uh, internships paid internship and 10000 earning 10000 in a single co-op term is a big financial aid to you that's not enough only we have up to one year of professional experience we give up to one year of professional experience if you served in the industry for 6 months you will be getting 6 month experience if you served in the industry for one year you will be getting one year of experience so here at acadia we are giving you co-op programs we are giving giving you good quality of education we are giving you you know quality of education with uh, you know good pay, employment ratio less student professor ratio like 14 is to 1 and this experience and paid internships so these are the points uh, which you need to understand about acadia that's why we say that we are very popular and reputed organization in nova scotia and canada exchange programs next uh, point that i'm going to highlight is if you wish to uh, to get to exchange to another partnering institution uh, who are spread all over the world you can do this from third year onwards you can do this similarly if you want to come to acadia that is again possible these uh, in the, these countries where partnering institutions are located these are japan russia you know scotland and africa and many more so i think 10 to 12 countries are there where in fact uk is also there residence options so at acadia good quality of residence with 24 into 7 electricity supply internet connectivity and room service is available uh, in fact uh, the thing is uh, residence options are well uh, equipped with, equipped with the solar power system uh, here you can see in the pics uh, we have good quality of sorry we have good number of enough uh, indian students approx 60 to 70 students are from india they are currently studying in acadia university programs dining hall you will ask the question like we have you told us about the residence where is the dining hall so our dining hall is very close to a residence options you can just walk and within 3 to 5 minutes you will be in the dining hall and dining hall classrooms and residence all are very close to each other in uh, winter season you can enjoy the ice also over there uh, dining hall uh, is a very important part and uh, because you know until almost you will not eat good food how you will concentrate on the studies so our chefs are you know five star from five star background and over these chefs we have special officers so these officers regularly check the quality of food dining hall is not the we have we do not have single dining hall only we have dining hall at many places with uh, you know coffee uh, cafes also so you can enjoy the coffees you can enjoy the dining halls uh, multi cuisine pool is available in uh, at acadia dining hall recreation is also uh, needed with a good quality of education so we have good quality of uh, various variety of communities you can participate in sports community you can participate in singing community you can participate in any other uh, community you can uh, find the pics over here students are enjoying various communities if you do not find any community of your choice you can uh, make a group of three or four students and you can make your own community at acadia we have good quality of sports team these team performs at nova scotia level and win prizes also so acadia tour can be uh, booked by writing on this email address uh, it's a two or three or two will be there you will be uh, seeing the campus direct flights are available from delhi and mumbai at the cost of 80000 to 1 lakh canadian dollar we have uh, you have we have you know the trains uh, system also like trains are available from toronto and uh, Mon uh, quebec for montreal so direct trains are available uh, from toronto it takes 30 hours and from uh, montreal it takes uh, 15 hours so you want uh, if you want to send document uh, apply to at, uh, at acadia university you should be having 
your predatory score, your 12th score, your English score in forms of Duolingo, IELTS and whatever. And uh, you need to send your passport to us. We are accepting application for September 2020 intake. So these are the uh, dates. And uh, we are available at these uh, you know, social committee links. So you can find us at, uh, at these committee links. For a detailed video, you can find on Google. You can do the Google and you will find a good video of Acadia University. So I think that's all from my end about Acadia University. So Mr. Mehul, uh, over to you. Uh, kindly look into the uh, you know question and answers. Yeah, so uh, meanwhile, I have received one, uh, I've got one message privately from one of the students. So, he is asking that uh, what are the minimum uh, Duolingo scores? So, uh, which is the minimum score which they have to get in order to uh, apply? See, you just apply for the Duolingo score on the, whatever the score is there on the basis of that you can get the condition of a letter. Because so there, there is no there is no lower limit uh, in case of Duolingo score, or is there any uh, you know decided score which the student has to get? in order to apply so is is there any minimum score which student has to get no as such there is no any so with any score so it is just i mean you should have the result of it that's it so yeah. it doesn't matter any more questions uh, please Yeah, I have got one more question. So he is concerned about the part-time jobs. Yeah, it's a very good question. And um, it's a very good question. I will say for part-time jobs at Acadia, we have Wong International Center. So at Wong International Center, uh, there are jobs displayed on the notice board. The students who are more interested into part-time jobs, in-campus jobs are available. In campus jobs, the student no need to go outside. They can do the jobs in campus, right? Apart from this, we have a uh, Wolfville downtown area. The student can do the jobs over there also. If they wish uh, to stay at uh, Halifax, Halifax is a place of uh, part-time jobs. So all three places: uh, Acadia campus, Wolfville, and uh, Nova. Sorry, Halifax. That is popular for part-time jobs. Yeah, uh, I have got one more. Uh, so he is asking that if student get visa for September and uh, if he is not able to travel due to this COVID nineteen situation, yeah, and uh, deferred to Jan, then what will be the procedure to extend the visa? What will be the so? What will be the procedure to extend? Yeah. Let's say uh, if I take the example of engineering uh, discipline. So in engineering, we have the programs and uh, engineering is, we are very sure that we are uh, conducting classes for engineering at Acadia University. But uh, uh, if uh, any student who come from other department, who, have gone, who apply for other department, so it is possible to defer the student in other cases. I hope you got my meaning. Can you, can you, can you, I mean, explain this in, in detail? I think, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, I take the example of engineering department. Isman has applied at uh, Acadia for engineering and he got the visa. So uh, we are very sure that Isman will be going to uh, Acadia University and he will uh, take the classes. Right. This was example of engineering only. But for rest of the department, if a student is applying and he got the visa, but somehow his, uh, it's not possible for him to go over there, so he can be deferred in next intake. Yeah. Okay.
so anything guys anything uh, whatever questions you have in your mind you can uh, simply uh, you know send your messages to me i will uh, what it solved or you can uh, type your message in the group chat so we will answer all your queries so whatever things you have in your mind even let it be the smallest one you just ask over here so that you get the resolution any questions please uh yeah i have got one so again he is talking about blocks so diploma to degree how many blocks are allowed so basically he wants to ask that we are not very strict to blocks but the thing is 4 to 6 are okay and uh, one more student is asking what is the maximum gap which is allowed in this case uh 3 years 3 to 5 years uh, they are allowing the gap of 5 years but i recommend please do not uh, accept application of 5 year gap because it will create uh, you know it will increase the refu uh, refusal chances so you can uh, consider the gap of up to 3 years and it should be justified Okay. Uh, I have received one more. Yeah, please. Uh, if if a student uh, come in Nova Scotia for uh, PG WP after yeah. completion of study in Ontario, in how much time he will uh, get PR? Please repeat your question. Uh, he is writing that if a student come in Nova Scotia for PG. after completion of study in ontario in how much time he will uh, get pr see the thing is uh, this is about pg course right not for ug course no so he is asking about pg yeah at uh, primarily i will say that at acadia we are offering only ug course but mm. uh, as pr point of view i will say that uh, if you do pg from acadia uh, any uh, institution in nova scotia you will be getting pr in 6 months in ontario or other province it will take up to 2 years or maybe more than 2 years any more questions mr mehul i think no more questions fine Uh, if you find any more questions you can ask to me uh, you can even uh, ask me on phone or you can also email me i'll be happy to answer yeah sure so i think those who got the queries i think they have got the answers yeah so yeah so it was really uh, informative session you you covered almost all the details uh, regarding that particular uh, college so it was really uh, nice to have you
for this particular session and thank you so much for uh, spending you uh, know time with us and we'll definitely get back to you whatever queries uh, just to say i have got one more uh, yeah. marvin is saying that uh, So now he is asking that uh, I have doubts about uh, admission process in this COVID situation, especially. So yeah. for uh, postgraduate and masters, he is asking. So he is saying he is asking that uh, will they admit us in September twenty if we if we start an application now? So it is about the September intake. Uh, again, actually, uh, the question is related to PG program. Yeah. yeah. At Acadia, the thing is, we are offering UG programs. If any student apply for UG program and he got the offer letter, so after uh, having valid study permit, he can travel to Acadia University. Sorry, Acadia University. Right, but I think uh, it's one on this query is related to PG. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is related to PG. There is a question after completion of study in Ontario. In how much time he will become? I answer this question. Yeah. In Ontario, the PR time will be around uh, two years, minimum two years, and maybe more than that. But then, uh, you know, if he uh, does the same PG uh, in, uh, in Nova Scotia, and he got the, uh, you know, offer letter from AIPP employer, he will be getting PR in six months. Okay, so Marvin, you have any other queries? So now he's asking that, so it means that uh, you don't have master programs. We do not have masters. As of now, we are promoting only uh, UG programs. Uh, we are not promoting masters. Okay. Yeah, so I think almost uh, everyone got their answers. So yeah, Anshulji, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, you know, spending time with us, and it was really an amazing session. It was quite quite informative. Yeah. So, so yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much from uh, on, I mean, on behalf of the entire team of. Let me overseas. Yeah, even I, in the end of the session, I will. Uh, it's honor for me to be here, and uh, thanks for inviting me to present the session. I hope uh, thanks to all Lakshmi overseas team member, to all the measure board, to you, Mr. Mehul, to Rahul, and Dolly, and all team members. Thanks to you all. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for attending our session. I hope we'll see you soon on Zoom, <laughs> not physically. Yeah.